Mr. Mbalula, thank you for your time. Uh, you were in KZ and in Gauteng here you had a number of political parties converging and uh, starting a relationship uh, to work together towards the coming election. The ANC is the governing party. It enjoyed a majority in terms of the elections. What's your view based on the coming elections and the newly formed uh, working relations of political parties? Well, we remain uh, focused um, in terms of uh, our work as the ANC uh, to work for an outright majority win. Uh, we know that uh, that outright majority win is not a given. Uh, we need to work for it. We need to win the confidence of the people. There are many challenges that our country is facing, but we know that we have made uh, some strides as the ANC, and we remain focused uh, with regard uh, to that. Um, when it comes to multi-party uh, uh, agreement of political parties, we are just observing that. And um, uh, we are observing that and we are not deterred, nor intimidated uh, by it. And uh, it's a democracy. People can come together in whatever way. And uh, uh, we have seen the, uh, the coming together of this Amorphous group of people uh, and uh, we need to understand who they are and what they stand for and so we are just uh, happy that uh, we have been vindicated about that uh, the ANC has got an alliance with the DA mm. and all of that we have vindicated we don't have an alliance with the DA and we don't have any secret uh, arrangements uh, with uh, anyone uh, we are not working for a coalition in 2024. They have accepted uh, defeat already that uh, they will not win, so they must get into a coalition. We are not working for a coalition. Coalitions are not working. And that is why we supported the national dialogue, uh, because coalitions have brought service delivery to a standstill, instability, corruption, manipulation, and all of that. That's why we want the law to govern and inform the coalitions in the Republic of South Africa. And uh, smaller political parties don't agree with that because they think that uh, their honeymoon will be over uh, of getting into power through back door. But uh, it's a mess for South Africa. Uh, service delivery is a, is a, is a, is a, is a victim of this, but coalitions anyway are a product of uh, an election. Uh, so we need to work and we are working very hard to get our people out in their numbers to vote and vote for the ANC. And we will be accounting for our work in the next two weeks mm -hmm. at uh, Dobsonville on the 3rd of September, where we'll talk about what is it that the ANC has done. And it coincides with 30 years of democracy. People say we have not done anything. We accept that, yes, we have brought services to the people that have never been brought by anybody. And it's not a blackmail, it's a reality. But uh, to simply say nothing has been done and nothing is being done even today, it's not only a distortion, but uh, it's a fabrication. And that story will be rebutted by a concrete presentation scientifically of what the ANC have done and also admitting uh, that uh, a lot still needs to be done. Mr. Mbalula, the veterans, uh, Snooki Zigalala, Dr. Snooki Zigalala and the Youth League said uh, they would prefer the DA coalition and now you have a DA and its partner saying they are targeting to dislodge the African National Congress. You are a senior of the mother body. What is your view? 
Snooki Zigalala, the Veterans League and the Youth League can represent their views, but not outside the ANC perspective. We have an adopted perspective. If they believe that uh, the DA is viable for whatever tactical or strategic purposes, they must present that to the ANC. The tendency of uh, ANC comrades speaking the strategic issues about the party in the media, uh, it puzzles us. And I've spoken to the president of the Youth League. Nothing wrong for them to share their views, but they must respect there is an organization here. There is a party here the center must hold. If they believe that certain concessions or whatever must be done in terms of coalitions, come back to the center and not argue strategic matters about the ANC uh, in public. They must speak to the ANC. I will give them a platform in the NWC. I will give them a platform in the officials. I'll give them a platform in the NEC. Let them address us. They are not uh, an opposition to the ANC. And uh, I'm saying that to them. Yes, they can express their views, but those views are not views of the ANC. The ANC has got no envisioned uh, working relationship uh, with a particular political party or against a particular political party when it comes to the coalitions. Um, we have said that coalitions is not our option. And we are in coalitions today because we understand perfectly why we are in coalitions is because we lost the majority. And we know now what it means to lose a majority. So we've got to work hard to ensure that we are not in the same situation. The ANC has got no secret talks with the DA. Has got no secret talks with the DA and uh, or, or whoever. And the ANC is not working for a coalition government in 2024. We are working for outright majority. And by working to convince our people, opposition is opposition. It's easy for them because when government, they wake up and oppose and make things easier and promise people things. We have been in government. We know uh, what promises means to the people and things that you cannot fulfill. Uh, with the experience that we've got in government, uh, we are faced with a number of challenges which uh, we are working to ensure that those challenges are undermined by our service delivery project. And finally, the BRICS summit, quite an important one, particularly as you pointed out, the multipolar world and how the ANC foreign policy is crafted. To us, BRICS represent uh, a possibility of multipolarism. We don't subscribe to a nation, to a notion of uh, uh, unilateralism. We don't subscribe to single superpower imposing itself as a world policeman over nations. We don't subscribe to the undermining of sovereignty of states. Uh, we believe in the United Nations Charter and uh, the possibility that BRICS bloc can give us options uh, in terms of uh, multipolarism is mostly welcomed by the African National Congress. And uh, that in itself does not mean we don't want to work with others. Uh, but we built this bloc in order to entrench multipolarism uh, as part of our endeavors of a new world order. And President Xi Jinping's visit, the state visit in particular? Uh, President Xi and the uh, Chinese people are good friends of South Africa. Uh, but uh, the Chinese Communist Party is the good friend of the African National Congress for decades. And uh, coming to South Africa and also for a state visit to strengthen trade and economic relations is an important, is an important part. Um, of this bilateral within the BRICS community. We are very much elated about the good relations our president and President Xi Jinping enjoy at a government to government level. And uh, our being here is a reflection of that. I just led a delegation to China mm. at a party to party relations. Uh, I will be send, we will be sending the Youth League and the Women's League to China as well and all youth formations uh, in this bilateral we have with the Chinese Communist Party and uh, it's an important uh, relationship we've got 
uh, it is a relationship that is born out of struggle.